Who would believe a thunderstorm in Dallas and a happy hour in Houston would change the trajectory of my life? My name is Teresa McKenna. I'm a member of the class of 1989 and lived in Farley Hall. There are countless Notre Dame couples. My husband, Dan McKenna, and I are among them, but we did not meet on campus. I'm actually six years older than he is, so we were never on campus at the same time. Our sacred story is about the night that brought us together in Houston in June of 1999. I was 31 and working at a big four accounting firm. Dan was also living in Houston, working in an entirely different realm at the Houston Rockets. His good friend from Notre Dame had been stranded in town due to thunderstorms in Dallas. The storm was so bad that it canceled his flight back to Chicago, where he was based at the same accounting firm. Thanks to the storm, we all ended up at the same office happy hour, which I had been reluctant to attend. I was still single at 31 and had decided who I was looking for was a Notre Dame boy. I believed a Notre Dame boy would give me all that I sought, faith, morals, friendship, and love. Would I really find one at a random work happy hour? My friends laughed at my goal of finding a Notre Dame boy because they were not plentiful in Houston, Texas. The odds were definitely against me. But that June evening, I met my husband through nothing short of a weather miracle. We've been married for 22 years and now have two boys at ND. Notre Dame certainly has many sacred places on campus, and it's the people who are flung far and wide who make it a tremendously powerful, holy place. The students who are forever shaped for the better by Notre Dame then go out into the world and make a difference. They have families and jobs, make donations, do charity work, and care for people in big and small ways. And lucky for me, they inadvertently match make. In this season of Advent, may we remember how it was a leap of faith that led Mary to that little stable 2,000 years ago. And from that leap came an infinite love. How might we follow her example, trusting that with faith made possible by the birth of a Savior, we might also nurture love in our own corners of the world.